So, I decided to undergo the task of starting as a level 1 in GTA Online in 2022. Is it possible? Will it be easy? What challenges will I face? And how will the community accept me? Let's get into it. After ditching my main character and saying goodbye to the overpowered arsenal that came with it, I started my journey as a level 1. Firstly, I had to make the character. It had been 4 years since I last did this, and I would forgotten how awful the options are. Nonetheless, the character was made, and I spawned into the streets of Los Santos, with zero dollars in the bank and a mere pistol. Rockstar were kind enough to give me some gifts, which will come in very handy later. It wasn't long though before this happened, an event which will foreshadow the rest of this experience. Feeling suitably initiated into GTA Online, I set the goal of making $50,000 in this first episode. As a level 1, it made sense there was only one thing I could do first, and that was rob a store. And that's exactly what I did. It doesn't reward much, but even $1,500 is money in the bank. To lose the cops, I headed to the airport to steal a plane and fly off. And then I remembered that level 1s can't even spawn in planes. It was fun robbing the store, but it would be a slow process to make 50k this way, so I knew I had to have a new plan. First I purchased a dodo, as for some reason it's free, and it could be very useful. Next was to steal a car. The right car can sell up to 10 grand, and for us, that's big money. I stole an SUV. It's not the best, but it's still decent, and considering I completely wrecked it, I still got a decent 4.6k for it, putting us on a very nice 6 grand. We'd made quite a good start. I knew, however, we would have to up our game if we were going to complete the goal before the end of the episode. Then I remembered about the casino. A free 1,000 chips daily, and a chance to win big on the wheel. But first, we had to go for an unskippable cutscene. But luckily for you, I have the power of editing, and I can cut that out for you. You're welcome. Once into the casino, I had to purchase a membership for $500. But what I didn't realise is it rewards you with a free 5,000 chips, which is a nice profit. And then, disaster struck. It appears the Lucky Wheels 24-hour cooldown carries over from your other character. And since I'd already done that on my main one, and it hadn't reset yet, I was out of luck and I couldn't spin the wheel. Now I was left stranded, stuck, and out of ideas. How was a level 1 supposed to make money? It seemed hope was lost. But no, I wouldn't be beaten this easily. There had to be a way to make some money. So after quickly robbing another store, I brainstormed. I decided the time trial would be the best shout. I stole a better car and I gave it my best. Though I had questionable but high level driving skills, it seemed the lack of an upgraded personal vehicle would prove too much and it seemed I would fail to even make it to the finish line. But then, as if Rockstar felt bad for me, I received an email. An email that contained the path to a quarter of a million dollars. The Golden Revolver Treasure Hunt. For those who don't know, by following a series of clues and a subsequent 50 headshots, you get rewarded 250 grand. I could beat the goal five times over, so I decided, with no time to waste, I had to crack on. First, I found a playing card that gave me some nice XP. Then, I found the first clue. A letter on the side of a mountain by Rattan Canyon. The second clue was in a wrecked building by the Alamo Sea. The third, next to a tree in Grapeseed. The last was a body in a cave. Then, while en route to the revolver, I made a last second attempt at a free roam event, narrowly stealing third place in the very last second, securing us a cheeky 4k. Finally, I obtained the revolver, and all that remained was the headshots. So, let the montage begin. However, I soon noticed I wasn't getting any progress messages. After a quick Google, I soon learned that the reward could only be collected on one character. Having already done this on my main character, I was no longer eligible. I had failed. Now for some context. The reason I had set the goal of 50k was because I was under the impression that's how much you needed to have to register as a VIP. But no, apparently, I've been lied to and deceived. I was able to register as a VIP anyway. I used to be a fan of Sightseer, a quick and easy mission, so I loaded one up. The dream, however, was short-lived. Having collected one package, I was once again reminded of the cruelty of GTA Online. This was it. Memories of my early days in GTA Online were coming back to me. I now realised the pain and struggle of being low level. It seemed it had only got worse as time had gone by. It made sense now why just over four years ago I had been driven to purchase him my first of many shark cards to get me started. It seemed the only way, but I couldn't fall into the trap again. I must pull through this and stay free to play. It seemed though the failed sights here would not be in vain, as shortly after I came across a sleeping guard, I stole a useless key as the Keo Perico heist would not be available to us for a long time, however it did come with a nice 7 grand. We were getting close to the goal, so I stole a jet and immediately got blown up, but at this point I couldn't really be pushed any lower, I just got on with it. 
I considered doing the flight school, but it seemed Rockstar would deal their final blow. It seemed you had to be level 6 to take part in it. This was the last straw. My patience was now worn thin. In my make or break moment, I started up a headhunter. It would be tough. The enemies were stronger, better and more equipped. I would have near misses with other players. But one by one, I nail-bitingly assassinated each target before detonating the last C4. Couldn't believe it. VIP missions were on times too. I had done it. Despite all the other odds, it was over. 50 grand in the bank. I had beaten my first goal of being level 1 in 2022. Now all that was left was to purchase a garage, claim the free allergy, and as well, equip myself with some better guns. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to see episode 2 where I'll be trying to get 250k. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe even tell someone about the channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.